player 2 has joined the game. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Two Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one of your hosts here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, Show One. How we doing? Fantastic. <laughs> if this is the first time you're seeing, hearing, or listening to us, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast, where just about every week, two brothers get together to tell you everything you need to know about in the world of video games. If you like that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, and everyone in betwixt. If you only listen to us on audio services around the multiverse, make sure you leave a five-star review and make Dustin Star proud. If you really like us, you can go to patreon.com slash two-player co-op, just like our producers Steve Appleton, Aunt Sue, and Vernon Slayton did, as well as our affiliate James Solar. If you like merch, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash Two-player co-op? Was that a rainbow? <laughs> yeah, it was okay. the more you know. I don't know. That's what I had in my <laughs> the mind. The more you buy. <laughs> <laughs> and until we're out of this pandemic, I will tell you e- each and every week that I can remember to do it, to please go ahead, even if you've got your vaccine, still go ahead and wear your Woo-hoo! mask. That is correct. That is correct. Sean, do you know what today is? Uh, 35th anniversary of Zelda. Sorry your party's so lame. That should have been the best Dang tweet it. ever. Dang it, I should have worn my shirt. Mm-hmm. Dang it. Screwed up. We're going to talk about that later. How it relates to the news of the week, or it doesn't. <clears throat> and I have some major questions that I need you to help me work through here. Um, I think Zelda is Belder. Yes. Except not then Horizon. I don't know. Is Zelda my favorite? You're going to be like, well, I don't know. But I, I <laughs> is Zelda my favorite series of all time or is it Metal Gear? Because I really don't. <sighs> it depends on how much you really like three. <clears throat> I mean, it's my favorite game ever, but Link, between, Link, Link to the Past is it's my number quality two game over, ever. or It's quality versus quantity. Is what it comes down to. Do you like Metal Gear Solid 3 and 5 and Peace Walker 2, 1, whatever, for that matter, and then 4? <laughs> don't know. No, no, I don't. Better, I don't like that better than any Zelda better game. Better than Breath of the Wild, Twilight, Ocarina, Ocarina Majora, Majora, which I like one, more than you. Link to the Past, Minish Cap, Link's Awakening. Worlds. I can't remember if you said that. Yeah. A Link Between Worlds, all combined. I don't know. It's weird because I do think I think Zelda is my favorite series. I do think so. It you is. would say Zelda is Belda. I would. Well, not compared to Horizon, <laughs> but compared to Metal Gear, <laughs> you know that doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> I don't. <sighs> it's definitely mine, and I don't even know Mario. Mario's up there, but again, are we talking every game that Mario's ever appeared in, mm-hmm. or just? platformers are we counting I would mario say the kart main, no mainline counting... mainline mario platformers 2d and 3d i think it's your number two, well actually no final fantasy is your number i was two gonna series. say yeah. If, yeah i would say it's zelda final fantasy mario and then i i don't even know what <laughs> i don't know what number four would be it actually not to be a smart ass it might be metal gear i'm trying to think of what castlevania contra oh yeah I mean, Symphony's way up there. Oh, Resident Evil. Oh, it might be Resident Evil. One, two, four, seven. <laughs> it just sounds like you're not an account. No. <laughs> no, I'm saying mm. those are the best games. I'm not sure Resident Evil wouldn't be number th- three. No, that's what uh, I'm saying. Yeah, it might be over Metal Gear. No, Mario, I'm saying it's number three. I'm saying it's Zelda Final Fantasy. Oh, sorry. Okay. No. Probably Mario and yeah. then Resident Evil. And then I don't. Okay, know. now we've got. Now we have an idea for our next uh, bonus episode. Well, no, we just did it. No, <laughs> we're we're done talking about it. Right? <laughs> mm. Zelda is so important. Um, and I've got a lot of thoughts. I have to remember though; it's only February, but I have a lot of thoughts when we get deeper into this podcast. As do I. Oh, boober. <laughs> What did Robert's 
when, when, Robert, when Marie gives him the CD and he's like, hey, baby, come and take off that brassiere. <laughs> Is that what he says? Well, no, it was Amy it says was very it. white. But then Robert says it eventually, too, in his super deep voice. Does he? I feel like it's just oh, baby, Amy. That... come over here and take off that brassiere. <laughs> My dear, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I think of Zelda, what when I just say The Legend of Zelda, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Like which game? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those where it didn't, the sound didn't come out all the way. <laughs> it all came from here. He's just. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> it's like Robert. I don't remember what it is, but when he, goes, when he gets nervous and he makes the, the noise. At the funeral, and he goes, Yes. <laughs> I, oh, I feel bad. Uh, Uncle <laughs> Gus is dead. <laughs> Oh okay. my god. I don't we, even know. We may have another podcast that we're working on. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> not game, not whatever. Just the first thing that comes to your mind when I say Legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great segment. I don't know. Because now I'm thinking about it, so now I don't know what the first thing that came to my mind okay. was. For me, it's it's the original Zelda. And it's <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why I asked. Like, are you talking which game? No, but I was. If you let me finish this, I'm going. Oh, <laughs> cough out the nose. <laughs> it's that, but it's it's the memory of playing it for like not not. I do not remember playing it for the first time. I'm not going to say that I remember that, but it's that time period in our lives. It's getting the Nintendo for Christmas in '87. It's walking out there with you. But see, I don't even remember that. No, I know. I don't remember getting Zelda. I don't remember yeah. getting Mario. Yeah. That's just like a dark place of my life, apparently, that I just I don't remember. I remember playing those games. But you it's were like, three. No, I know. But it's like I don't remember <clears throat> ever playing it for the first time. I just remember, Do you remember Mario. It's 2? just like all of a sudden it was there. And yeah. like, I don't do you know. remember getting Mario Two? like I remember seeing it on Christmas? Like I remember oh, going over to the was that 88, 88. It was over. See, on I the don't think I remember anything before. I remember that because we didn't have right because the, the camera, yeah. but. And at that point, I don't think I even knew what Zelda was. Did we get those both for Christmas? Yeah. It was those two games. They were both stood up next to it. Wow. Now, I don't remember if we had golf then, or maybe Dad went and bought golf. But those are the first three games I remember playing, because we didn't get, we didn't get the, the, the duck hunt thing. Mom would have probably So we didn't us. even have Mario 1? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <Just> did it again. <laughs> 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 No, we had Mario 1, Zelda, and then at some point we got golf. Either it came with you, it or I Dad f- bought it. I'm almost positive multiple times you said Mario 2. 1988. <laughs> we got the NES in 87. Uh-oh. That's what I was saying. Do you? No. Well, that's why I was asking, did we get Mario? When you were talking about Mario 2, I was asking if we got that and Zelda in the same year. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, I, so okay. we got Mario 2, 88. 88, and probably... But you're Whoa. saying you remember coming out Christmas morning and seeing Mario and Zelda Correct. on the man- Mario the 1 and Zelda on the, the little brown. No, on the little oh. brown TV. I saw Mario 2 on the hearth. It was of the on the TV. <laughs> table, table, oh. the brown table, not the brown TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good one. <laughs> Neither of us. Well, I haven't been drinking. I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Uh, yeah. It's. Yeah, it's Zelda. Hopefully, the anniversary gets a lot better. <laughs> so you are. So you agree? <laughs> Zelda is your favorite series of all time. Why were you doing that voice? Uh, it's like this new meme. Ah, uh, it's not very new, but it's like from Mean Girls. Uh, <laughs> from a fifteen-year-old movie. <laughs> <laughs> the girl. The uh, what's her name? The one that was in Wedding Crashers. Rachel, Rachel Dawes. No, that's no. not that was Rachel the Rachel McAdams. Batman. Yes. She's like, Oh, see I can't remember what the line from the actual movie is, but the meme is just so you agree. I don't know. It's like 
I don't know. I'm not going to try to say <laughs> explain a name. <laughs> we are off to a rocking start on this podcast, I must say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean. Yes. Uh, hopefully, we'll be talking a lot more about Zelda's 35th anniversary the rest of this, rest of this year. Also, we will be talking about it pretty soon. Uh, again, if you remember a couple weeks ago, we tried to record <laughs> Zelda 1 and our laptop slash OBS crap the bed. Uh, we do have, we will have Let's Plays of Zelda 1, A Link to the Past, and Super Metroid coming throughout this year. We got a little bit later start on it that we wanted to because of life um, and because computer and Snowmageddon. Um, but uh, yeah, so it is coming. Um, so if, if <laughs> maybe Nintendo's not going to do anything for the 35th anniversary, but damn it, we are. Sean. Yes. We got a... We're just going to keep doing that. We got a trailer this week. For what I'm going to go out on a limb right now and say, will end up being, Mm. when it is released, because maybe, maybe Uncharted actually comes out, maybe it's actually awesome. When it is released, ooh, Sonic was really good though. But when it is released... We got a trailer for the movie that what I think will be at the time of its release is the best <laughs> video game live <laughs> the best live Bar of waking up. What? <laughs> what do you say about waking up? He said the best no, oh, I said part, part of, of waking okay. up. No, the best live action video game movie ever released in Mortal Kombat. That, the only reason I say live action is because that Street Fighter 2 anime is still... Which, what do you consider Sonic? Live action or no? Yeah, because there's people. Yeah. I mean, it's it's live action mixed with CG. Okay. Which this obviously is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Because right now... I I'm mean, not so sure that right now it's not the I, first Mortal Kombat. Well, it's and either this that looks or Sonic, like It's going to be a lot better than that. Yeah. So... I I would be hard pressed to come up with something else that it even could be. But I mean, Sonic is definitely up there. Resident Evil's got their reboot coming out with the actual characters. I think stuff. I think over these next few years there will be a lot in the running. Yeah. I hope, or maybe they'll all suck. But like, well, I was gonna say Last of Us, but that's a series. But Resident Evil and Mortal season three Kombat. of Castlevania at some point. Yeah. Um. So in the trailer, uh, Sub Zero apparently is bad Sub Zero because he's like, "Yo, Jax, what's up?" That was cool. The opening shot. <laughs> the opening shot. <laughs> for, the opening shot when he takes the like combat shotgun and goes, boom, and Sub Zero's just like, <laughs> and you just see the buckshot freezing, and he's like, "Come on, man!" And he's like, "Hey." <laughs> Some people are mad because I guess in one of the games, it's not canon. It's Ermac that rips his arms off, whatever. But like, Ermac doesn't need to be in this stupid movie. Sub Zero should. And if you're setting him up to be a bad guy and freaking terrifying, what better way than oh hey Jax, pop. And this this Red Band trailer was like so Red Band. I was like, oh uh, yeah, it was almost like, which I don't even know if you ever saw it, but it almost reminded me of like. Deadpool in a way, just like I saw the over the top <laughs> violence, and I it's Mortal Kombat. That's exactly what it should be. I saw the first one. I never saw the second. Deadpool. The first one's better. Cole Young worries me. I think it's his name. The new character. I just I hate it. Just Why is he not just Johnny Cage? Alice. Like yeah, just we don't. We've got a whole. Uh, so what the did you watch that director commentary thing I sent you yeah. on IGN? I get what he's saying. Like, more like oh, they've always added yeah. new people. Okay, fine. I get it. But, but like, you're trying to do this right. Why is that guy not just Johnny Cage? But most of the time, when they add characters to the game, yeah. they suck. Yeah. Like, not since I'm probably wrong here because I haven't played any of the more recent ones. But like, not really since like Mortal Kombat Two or probably Mortal Kombat Three, has there been a new character that I feel like has actually been good. I mean, I didn't play the last two, so I, that's the one thing that I just yeah. don't know. 10 and 11. I, and I didn't play 9. I, had, I haven't played, like, the last 8. What am I saying? <laughs> After 3, I stopped playing it. But um, uh, we see Scorpion before he was Scorpion, and I cannot remember that actor's name, but he's been in things that I've seen before, and he's freaking awesome. Scorpion, it seems like, 
is, is he a good guy? Good guy which, yeah, it's so I mean, I like it. Do something. But I different. feel like I feel like Scorpion's always a bad guy. But Sub Zero, based on if he's, uh, I forget the name. Is, is it Bihan? Hanzo is Scorpion, I think. Hanzo is Scorpion. Sub Zero. There's two. There's two Sub Zeros that we follow. They're both from the link. Aren't they way. brothers? Or are they not brothers? I, at this point, I don't know because yeah. I. I barely knew the canon up through, you know, three. Um, hey, Riddle won the U.S. title. Good for him. Yep. Um, so I don't... It's just something about it is weird, but seeing Scorpion before he was Scorpion, just rake and like, I've just got a rope and a knife, and this is how I get my... Oh, this is... What else did I write down here? Uh, Kano reminds me of... And I mean this in a good way. He reminds me of Captain Boomerang from Suicide Squad. Probably the best thing about that movie, other than Will Smith. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's I can got, see it. He's Australian. He's got the the comedy going, and then he's, "Hey, Kano wins!" <laughs> Effing beauty, whatever he says. I'm like, I'm. It's weird. I, I I wonder what it's going to be like with him and Sonya or Sonya. I forget. At this point, is she Sonya or Sonya? I've always said Sonya, okay. but I don't know. We see them fighting at one point, but it seems like they're also on the same side. I don't. I don't know. Um, it's a movie that I'm like. I don't really. I think part of the reason I'm not a big fan of what's his name, the new guy, is because I'm not. I don't really care too much about the story in general. Like, yeah, I want to get some of the whole Sub-Zero Scorpion backstory, but I'm like, other than that, just give me Mortal Kombat. I want to see fighting. I want to see fatalities. I want to see blood. Like, I don't really care about the story. It's Mortal Kombat. We get the story. It's a bunch of people fighting. Somebody wins to save Earth, whatever. Like, you just want it to actually, like, not be cheesy and make a little bit of sense and be faithful to the source material. I just don't want this new guy to come in and be like, hey, guys, I'm new here. And, he just and guess what? Goro's I killed off. Goro and yeah. Sub-Zero. And like, it just, I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. Like, it's I don't weird. care if you have a new character, but yeah. I'm hoping they don't Alice him and just make him the focal point of the whole. Like, if it's he's there, so weird okay. because So, like, in the trailer, they start off, like, they, they show Sub-Zero and Jax. And then after that, it's like Cole for like 30 seconds. Yeah. That's not a birthmark. That's an invitation or whatever they say. And then after that, they're like, no, this guy doesn't exist. Whatever. And right. It's like and all the back characters to, we yeah. know and love and everything. So um, we see Shao Kahn, although it's just a statue, statue which is like we're they, – they want this to be good and they want this to be more than one movie. Liu Kang does the dragon, and it's not the dragon from I want Liu Kang to drop an arcade cabinet on somebody's head. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would love that. Angry, I think it was Angry Joe I was listening to. was like, man, I want Kano to like jump off a wall and go and like roll into somebody. Like Somehow Bronco. that'll happen. I, I think that'll happen. Maybe he'll just roll down a hill. He'll yeah, it'll be some interpretation of it. Yeah, Goro looks I don't know that insane. Goro looks... Something about Goro's not... I don't know. He obviously looks better than 1995, yeah, Goro. Like a, a but it puppet, still just yeah. looks... I don't know. Does not look like 20, holy crap, 26 years. No, I think it actually, somebody, I, I read somewhere it came out in 97. I thought it was I 95. I thought it was 95. I thought yeah. the second one was 97. Oh, that's probably, they Maybe. probably screwed that up. But either way, Goro doesn't look like there's been 26 years of advancement. But I mean, all we see is him just go, well, <laughs> with my forehead. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Probably way more than I should, but I'm looking forward to it. And again, like I'm going to subscribe to HBO Max here in a few weeks because we know. And now I'm like, well, now I know that's coming, so I'm going to keep it for that. Like, yeah. Um, And that Sub-Zero Scorpion fight, if for, the, I had to watch it a few times to figure out what the hell was happening. There's a lot of fast moving. When he... When he Basically, what it was, I couldn't figure it out at first because I thought he like, I thought he grabbed Scorpion's get over here and just like stabbed him through it and it came through the other side and then he grabbed it and did whatever. I'm like, and then I went back and watched. It. I was like, no, he's just cutting this dude. Yeah. Blood's flying up. He's going whoop, freeze it, grab it, 
stab you with that and then throw you through the ice wall. I'm like, oh my god, I just and and some I think it was Angry Joe was saying like, and if, I I was like, I don't think that's right. Sub Zero and Scorpion didn't fight as good as that first movie is. They did not fight each other because they were on the same side for the for the uh, uh, Outworld. They didn't fight in the first Mortal Kombat. I feel Kombat like I movie. hardly even remember. Was Sub Zero just like an afterthought in that movie? Pretty it's much. like I don't really remember much of. And Scorpions, like, it was just like. <laughs> 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 this is so much better than. I, I mean, I love that they went the designs that are more like the last, you know, two or three Mortal Kombat's. Yeah. For the characters and stuff, but man, I'm so. This still could be like I mean. I watched the trailer for Batman versus Superman. I was like, this, this can't movie be may bad. suck, but it's at least going to be fun. It's going to be it's, entertaining. It's either going to be good or it's going to be so bad that it's good. Yeah, I think either way, I'm going to like it. The only thing I miss, I wish Shang Shang Tsung was still uh, Carrie. I cannot remember his name. Your soul is mine. Like he will always be Shang Tsung to me, and he's still alive. But I mean, he would have he he could have played like. Old, Old like Shang Mortal yeah. Kombat One, Shang Tsung. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, we're both very excited for it. I can't wait. I hope it's as good as I think it might be. <laughs> Sean, yes. What have you played this week? I have not played a whole. Uh, so well, never mind. Um, I played some more. I'd already played last week. I think. I played some more 3D World. I'm just in like a bit of a rut right now. I'm like, I don't really know. I still have yet to go back to control. I, nothing's really, I don't know. I'm just having trouble getting into anything right now. So, yeah, that's all I've played is some more uh, 3D World. <clears throat> I did not play a video game for one second this week. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff going on this that, week. That's the thing. We We had a crazy snowstorm. Nothing like everything going on in Texas. Texas, we love you. Uh, Texas strong hook em horns. Um, you know, my dad, our, our dad's from Texas. We love Texas. It's insane and aggravating as hell. What happened there? Um, but yeah, we had crazy snow this week and I was just like, just getting through the days was hard enough. Um, yeah. when you're snowed <laughs> in like Edward, <sighs> <laughs> I wonder if granny's new car was was a diesel <laughs> what would her vin be um <laughs> but like we're snowed in and yeah like i said last week i got the platinum in hybroxy i got the platinum in miles morales i've already beaten cyber shadow i'm like i just was not what i did this i watched two episodes of ted lasso which was i was good we started we were through six episodes oh are you really we watched two the first night and i'm like this is pretty good and then last night we watched four. And is I the owner really the, that mean? Is she that? I feel like she's going to have a change of heart. I don't even want you to answer it, but like yeah, I'm like I mean, he's so like like how do you like hate this? Guy? The most yeah. wholesome, nice dude you've ever seen, and she's just like I don't care. My husband's a jackass. It is better, way better than it has any business being. We're yeah. through six episodes. I think there's ten. There's ten. Yeah. And yeah, I think probably in one more night we'll go ahead and finish it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's really good. And I been, like the the assistant coach guy. I think he's he just like kind of shows up every so often, has like one little funny part, and then he just disappears. It's like he's not while. even acting, right? It's I just think like he's, he's just, just himself. Yeah. Uh, I like what, what's his name Higgins, the the little Aaron the little boy for the owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really good. <laughs> and I've been watching. I've been watching. Everybody loves Raymond. Um, I just haven't. Yeah, it's it's just a weird time. I don't know. Um, and then some of the stuff that happened this week just made me depressed and not want to play video games, especially my Switch ever again. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, I know I could go back to Ghost. I could play Control. I could play Days Gone. I could play. I mean, hell, I can play anything on the PS Plus collection. Now, God of War's got the patch, you know, the, the 60 yeah. frames per second patch and stuff. But I'm like, I kind of want to play that again when it's closer. To yeah, I know I'm going to play it again later. So I'm like, I'm not going to bother. The Horizon, no. yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Well, <coughs> neither of us have played anything. I've been playing, uh, what's this game called on here? 
<clears throat> I've been playing uh, Bubble Pop with an exclamation. Exclamation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, remember Snood back yeah. in the day? Yeah, it's like a Snood kind of game. No, exactly. I'm up to like level 670 or something. <laughs> oh my god! It's a good, it's a good pooping game. <laughs> All right, then, Sean, you want to get the news of the week? Let's do it. (sighs) Sean, after almost a year and a half, Nintendo finally decided to hold an actual Nintendo Direct, which they said would be focused on, randomly, they said Super Smash Brothers Ultimate (coughs) and games coming out in the first half of 2021. I think they did this to temper our excitement, but it's Nintendo, so we're going to have excitement, and they lied because they talked about a lot more than that, but they didn't really talk about anything at all, so do you want to give your thoughts on this at the top, or should I go through everything there, and we can just run through it as we go? Let's run through it. First off, I don't know what the hell her name is, Pyra or Pyra along with Mithra, are coming to Smash in March. They are Xenoblader, Xeno, <laughs> Xenoblade, two, Chron- Xenoblade Chronicles 2 characters. And as everybody else has already made the joke, it's more anima, anime sword fighters in Smash. Hooray. Why is anybody still playing Smash? Why the hell is this even a thing? Two, year, two plus years after it came out, right? This was December 08. We're that still talking like, about these stupid. Shut it. <laughs> December 18. Yes. Like, we're still talking about. Car- Ooh, you can. <laughs> another anime sword fighter. Who cares? Nah. People do, apparently, but. Next up, it was announced that Fall Guys is coming to Switch. It's also coming to Xbox this summer. I swear to God. I did not realize that this was a PlayStation exclusive up until now. I didn't either. For some reason, I knew it was a PS Plus game, but I thought it was just (laughs) PS Plus and you can play it. I knew it was on PC, but I assumed it was on Xbox, Switch. Who cares? Why would you play anything online on Switch? We'll get to that at the close of this stupid-ass show. Um, But yeah, Fall Guys is coming way after its popularity has completely peaked. Another game that I'm like, are people still (laughs) playing this? I don't think so. I don't know. Next up, they showed a trailer that announced that Outer Wilds, which I think we knew was coming to Switch already, but it's now coming to Switch. What they say is this summer. What I I don't I didn't know anything about Outer Wilds. I just heard about it and it was a good game. Watching this trailer, I was like, "Oh, this is like Space Majora's Mask." Yeah, I did not realize that. I did, I did not, not know, know anything you were about this, it. Like but... time loop over and over again. But I was like, hmm. I don't know. And then things kind of went off the rails. And they go off the rails a lot. But this was the... I was like, what the hell? Then they announced that Famicom Detective Club, the two games, which I didn't even write the names down to because I don't care, are being localized in English. The Come, Missing Eris or something like Aerith? that. Aerith. And the... Jabberwonky. <laughs> I don't remember the other one. I don't even know if the first one's correct. Well, they'll be here on May 14th, Sean. Set your calendars. <laughs> Clocks. <laughs> uh, Samurai Warriors 5 is coming out this summer. It's another Musou style game. And uh, no. No. If I'm not going to buy Age of Calamity, I'm not going to buy this. Yeah. Uh, Sean, did you play Legend of Mana? No. Okay. That's the third one. Is There's it? the prequel. Wasn't there was Secret of Mana, and then wasn't there a prequel that came out? Well, or Adventures something? of Mana was technically the first one, but here we got that as Final Fantasy Adventure on Game Boy. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> then Secret of Mana. But then <clears throat> Gaia, uh, Illusion of Gaia, and what was the other one? Evermore. Those are not related. I think they have nothing to do with it. Yeah. So then maybe this is the third one. Um, but the remake is coming out June 24th. New music. You can turn off enemy encounters. There's a new mini game. It's turn-based, so I'm not going to play it. But I don't know if you had played it. I haven't. There was something like that seems like a game that I would like, but there was <coughs> something during that that I'm like, oh, I didn't realize. Blocks. Whatever happened to be 
there's something about it that I just didn't like, which okay. otherwise it seems like I should have liked the game, but and now I don't remember what that was, but yeah, pass. Okay. Monster Hunter Rise is out March 26th. I cannot remember if we already knew that or not, but we got a new trailer for it. Also, it's getting its own custom Switch and Pro Controller. Hooray. But I don't care. Is that weird <clears throat> for a game, a non-first party game, to have their own system? That just seems so weird to me. Like has for PlayStation Nintendo? for anything? Like has there ever been like a Resident Evil themed PlayStation? That there you was could Metal buy? Gear. Was there really with Ground Zeroes? There was. I don't think there was one for Phantom Pain. For Ground Zeroes, there was. Hmm. There was a de- There was a Destiny White. PS4. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. But I'm trying to think of Switch, though. I can't think of any of these, the colors and all that stuff for Switch. Yeah. That's not first party. <clears throat> hmm. But I don't care. And then, <laughs> finally, something good got announced. And I, I, I don't know, Sean. Mario Golf Super Rush was announced. It's out June 25th. Everybody woke up out of their coma that they were in throughout this. This direct, this direct sucked. I feel like Ric Flair and I just want to go and punch myself in the band-aid until I bleed. This direct was horrible. There was, this was by far the best announcement. <clears throat> yeah. And it's not even, close. and it's not even that great an announcement. It's just, well, that's not even true. It was, there's another one. The oh. obvious one. There's two good announcements, but even that, that second one, one was kind of tarnished because of, Okay, well, just, just yeah. save it because I got to rant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my forehead bleed. <laughs> okay, so Mario Golf, Mario Golf Super <laughs> Rush is out June 25th. Uh, there's mo- motion controls if you want to use them. There's a new speed golf mode and there is a story mode. Sean, everybody lost their mind. I don't think I've ever played a Mario Golf game. I've played Wii Golf. I've played NES. You know, I've played golf. I've played what was the other one on an NES Open. Then. With Mario, when he's like, when he's got his like stripes and stuff, I think. But I haven't played Mario Golf, and everybody's so excited. I know you're excited too, and I think I am. I just it, it sixty dollars for a Mario Golf game. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. It's if you like, and I, it sounds like you haven't really played many, but like if you like <clears throat> Mario sports games, like I love. Mario Baseball on the GameCube. I played that just a crazy amount. I don't know when the last Mario Golf game was. That may have also been GameCube. 2003. The last one that came out on a home console was 2003. Yeah. It's just, it's a game. Golf is a game that doesn't, I don't know. Other than like. Uh, what was it called? Was it just called Mi- Microsoft Golf? Whatever the game was that first introduced, like you MS know, the... Lynx. Yeah, I think it was MS Lynx. Other than like that, <clears throat> I've never really cared about like simulation style. Yeah, golf games. Like, give me all the arcade style golf games. That's that's what I want. Where you can play the different characters and they all have like their own different power ups. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I never played Mario Tennis, like any of the Mario Tennis games, okay. but when the Switch one got announced, I was kind of hyped for that, and then I just I literally never played it. Yeah. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, if you like that kind of game. I think I definitely would. I just think... I don't know. I don't know what's going to be out in June. Oh, Ratchet's going to be out in June. Oh, Yeah. But that's two weeks before this. We might be done with it by then. You might have the platinum in two weeks. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I'm definitely intrigued. I just wasn't over the moon like everybody else. It's sad that that was <clears throat> maybe the best, at worst, hey, the second best thing announced. As much as I like Mario Golf, the fact that that is what everybody's talking about, is that tells you how bad yeah. this was. James says, uh, Mario Tennis Aces was fun, and it was actually kind of hard. <clears throat> Next up, they announced that Tales from the Borderlands, a super old game. I know it's coming back to PS4 and Expo and everything also. Uh, it's out March 24th. Hooray. Uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium is out now. You can download 1943. I wrote 1943, but then I thought somebody said it was 1941. 
but I don't know. They're all the same yeah. thing. Um, you can download that for free. Other games are available for purchase. You can also download Ghosts and Goblins. I think it's what the original was called. I can't ever... Okay. But you can download it for free for like a, the next week or something until the new version comes out. They showed some of that in this. That looks horrible. Yeah. It looks like a Flash game. That that looks like crap. Like, I don't think yeah, I played I enough... I guess it does. Yeah. I paid enough, you know close enough attention in the direct mini or whatever when they announced it i was like oh that wow cool and then i saw this and i was like i i could have done that's it's <laughs> my name is strong bread um <laughs> but you have to purchase these games there's three 10 packs available that focus on like the 80s late 80s early 90s and then late 90s so you can't just buy one game it's why, why wouldn't and if you buy all three you get a five dollar discount instead of how much are each. they i oh, think 10. 10 for each or something yeah. The whole way they're doing this is kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, Stubbs the Zombie is getting re-released on March 16th. I didn't know that was a thing. That I did, that existed <sighs> Dude, before? I have no freaking idea. Yeah, apparently. Okay. That's, that's this direct is maddening. <clears throat> no More Heroes 3 is out August 27th. Looks cool, but then they're like, oh, you can cut the grass to earn money to do the fights. And I was like, all right, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, that's what those games always do, but I don't care. And then this was the moment when I was just like, what the hell am I watching? Why am I sitting on my ass on my couch after a long day at work watching this crap? When DC Superhero Girls Teen Power was announced and out June 4th, what (laughs) the hell is happening? You didn't think that looked good? What the fuck is happening? What are we doing, Nintendo? You wait a year and a half to do a full length, real direct, and you show. Let me write. Let me look this game. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power. What the frick is happening? <laughs> then another new old game that's new again was shown Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. The complete edition's out March 19th. Hooray. Is there anybody that still wants to play Plants vs. Zombies? I know this is not the original game. This is the 3D shooter, whatever crap. These games have been out forever on everything else. Is there anybody that was really jazzed about this game coming out? No? Didn't think so. Great. Because then they announced Metopia, May 21st. What the hell is Metopia? I don't know. You make me's, you walk around, and you do Animal Crossing shit or something. I don't know, bleep, don't care. It's like an, I mean, judging by, I've never heard of it before, but... It seems like it's like an RPG that you kind of make your... Or I mean, the bones of it are there, but like, if you had it, you could be like... Casey could play it, and Nick could play it, maybe they're the heroes, and they make your me as like the bad guy. Like you, They can make you the villain, and it's a way to just like put your me's into like these different characters or something. I don't know. I'm going to guess it's not that great of a game. <laughs> it's just kind of a, hey, look, here's something you can do with your Miis. And it's $50. 50 Wow. Then they announced that, speaking of stupid Animal Crossing, that Mario items are coming to stupid Animal Crossing on February 25th. And it doesn't even look like real Mario items because your stupid Animal Crossing villain... Oh, I'm Tom Nook's bitch, whatever my name is. You don't even <laughs> look like Mario or Luigi. Uh, just die in a fire, please, game. Then something good finally happened, even though I don't care anything about it. I ain't going to play it. Project Triangle Strategy. Best name ever. Even better than Project Octopath Traveler. I don't know. Uh, this may be stupid. There are a <laughs> lot of games that I immediately write off because of stupid names. Now, Octopath was one. It ended up being that okay game was to not good. Well received. Yeah, I, I was it, shocked when I heard people saying that it was just kind of okay. It was okay, but like I'm like, this is stupid. I'm not gonna play a game called Project Octopath. I'm not gonna play a game called Project Triangle War. What's it called? Project Triangle Strategy. Strategy. But to be fair, when it's released, we know they're gonna drop the project, and it's just gonna be Triangle Strategy. So I mean, just give it some leeway. Why do you say that? Because it was pro- it's by the guys that did Octopath. 
Project Octopath Traveler. Oh, that's what right. it was yeah, announced. Pro- as. That's right. It did become. And it was just Octopath Traveler. Traveler. Okay, so yeah. this is gonna be triangle strategy. And I don't know um, what the triangle is. Three characters. People were talking about three attack types. Whatever. I don't yeah. know. I don't like the tactics games. But I, I, I don't either. Uh, I don't. Okay. I can't do tactics. <clears throat> um, even a game that I th- feel like has actually been received pretty well and James, people I'm like. upset because this direct sucks okay and Bra- i haven't even gotten to what really pisses me off yet bravely default yeah what kind of name is this i'm not gonna no like as soon as i hear that name i'm like this sounds stupid it's not a game <laughs> and it seems like it is all over the switch i feel like i hear about it way more on the switch than any other system bravely these default. stupid rpgs <laughs> with stupid stupid names and as soon as i hear a stupid name i'm like i no, you've already lost me and that's how i feel about this triangle strategy game whatever i feel like if i like tactics games i would be very happy i don't like turn-based i'm not gonna like tactics based i don't think so i don't even is that even tactic i don't think i think just tactics uh, yeah i don't know it looks cool. I, I love the art style, just like I did with Octopath. The, the 2D, which it now has a name. What are they 2D called? HD or yeah. HD 2D? Yeah, one of those. HD, a 2D. <laughs> a 2D. 2D HD, it, I think. 2D, bro <laughs> That was stupid. Next, they announced Star Wars Hunters is out later this year. It's a free-to-play game set between Episode 6 and 7. Looks like it's a battle royale. Hooray. Are you freaking kidding me? And it's made by Zynga, I think, who makes mobile games. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, then they showed this crappy game that's called Knockout City. It's out on Switch May 21st. Again, why would anybody want to play a multiplayer game on their Switch? Because I wouldn't. Oh, congrats, Jess. You just did a workout. <laughs> Knockout City. It's a dodgeball battle royale game. Yeah. Are you excited? No. Nope. Okay. <sighs> Then they announced World's End Club, which is by the makers of Danganronpa, which is out on Switch May 28th. And I told Jess, that's what I want for our anniversary, because that's our anniversary. Yeah, that's our anniversary. I want World's End Club from Danganronpa. Another stupid name. (laughs) World's End Club. Uh, Hades is announced beginning a physical release on March 19th. If you want to play that game and somehow haven't already, cool. I'm still waiting. It's got to come to PlayStation this year. And I'll then play I think it I'll when it comes it to PlayStation. Because I wanted, yeah. I, I, there's no way I'm going to get the platinum, but something in my head's like, I still just want to play that on PlayStation with the best controller. So, The Ninja Guide Master Collection was announced. It's out June 10th. It's also coming to PS4 and X-Bone. People are ex- upset that it's the Sigma games. Not just the regular Ninja Gaiden. I don't know. They're not as good. I guess I don't know. I ain't playing these. They're they're too tough. They were too tough. They yeah, they were I'm good. Souls before Souls was a thing. Uh, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity was announced to get in DLC and an expansion pass. So that's cool. Uh, Saga Frontier remastered with new content is out April fifteenth. Sean, did you ever play Saga Frontier? Well, oh. you didn't have a PS one, so probably not. No. Okay. It looks cool. Um, and then we get to the point where I just wanted to punch myself in the face to death. Um, where Sean and I are texting each other. And then AG Anuma comes on screen. Sean sends me OMG. I write back OMG at the same well, time. I wrote you one. <laughs> then I wrote one. <laughs> then I wrote OMG because I kept stupid autocorrecting. I'm like, one, one. OMG. And I said, OMG, and I was like, here we go. And then he's like, hey, everybody, uh, I know you're super excited uh, to hear about the sequel to Breath of the Wild, which we announced over like two years ago and haven't shown anything since. And while I know it would be easy for us to at least just put together a trailer to give you some kind of an idea of what this stupid game is actually going to be and what the story is and what maybe like do the weapon, whatever, just a trailer. I know you guys really wouldn't want, you know, you don't expect us to have a 30 minute demo, but I know it'd be, it's way too, t- uh, sorry, we can't even put a trailer together. So I know you're here for news on the breath of the wild too. Um, but instead here's Skyward Sword. You don't announce your first direct in 18 months. Days before the 35th anniversary of your second biggest franchise of all time. 
and then bring out A.J. Anuma in a Zelda shirt and then have him say, we know you want Breath of the Wild 2, but we're going to give you nothing now. But later this year, we will give you more info. This game's not coming out this year. No. What in the blue and mother freaking hell is happening? Breath of the Wild came out four years ago. They're using the same map. They announced this game two years ago. They have shown us not two seconds of this game since that time. What in the blue hell? And then this is the 35th anniversary. And again, I sound like I live in a van down by the river. But you you kick off the 35th anniversary of Zelda by telling people that you're porting what pretty much everybody believes to be the worst 3D Zelda game to the Switch. Not Wind Waker, not Twilight, not Ocarina, not Majora, not nothing. What the hell? What do you think? <laughs> so the, who the hell is he going to fight? I don't know. Miz don't, won the WWE title. I don't think that's going to last. That's awesome. Good for him. Yeah. Um, I think I had an aneurysm. <laughs> so I get... So I think Skyward Sword is the last game of the 3D Zeldas other than Breath of the Wild that has not gotten a re-release. Yeah. So I get it. And it's its 10-year anniversary. I'm looking forward to it. I will gladly pay $60 to play through it again. That being said, it's up there or down there. <clears throat> it's... I think I'm in the minority of people that think Majora's Mask is not that good, and I don't even think Wind Waker's that good. Now, I think if I played the re-release, whatever, remaster, whatever it was... With the improved of, sailing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Of Wind Waker, I may <laughs> feel differently, but like Skyward Sword is in the bottom three of 3D Zelda games. That being said, I'm looking forward to playing it again. Um, I don't know what's going on with everything else. <laughs> yeah. Um, Breath of the Wild to whatever it's going to be is not coming yeah. out this year. No. There's no chance. I, I think the, the, the best we can hope for is another direct around E3 or as part of E3 where they finally and show they'll say the game, it's out March and they next say year. coming twenty two. Yeah, yeah. Um, now maybe this is COVID related. It probably is, but still, like, how tone deaf? I don't know if that's even the right word, but like, how stupid? Nintendo, I swear to God, they are as successful as they are in spite of themselves. Yes, yes, like. They, I feel like they do almost everything wrong, wrong, or at least in the most nonsensical way. It's just, I really don't know what they're doing sometimes. Like they, they are clueless. Again, like I said, I have to tell myself this probably isn't. It better not be all that's happening for the 35th anniversary. It, the fact that they couldn't get Breath of the Wild 2 ready for the 35th anniversary, I'm assuming, is very frustrating. Yay, the next one. Now, I don't know why I... Exp yeah. Rick, we, we talked about ad nauseum how disappointing the 3D All-Stars pack was. That was not good. Straight ports, 64 sucks. Sunshine, love you, James. Galaxy's really good. But they didn't do anything to those games. But, like, they did, yeah. They did for, nothing. For freaking Mario. Right. Your, your flagship. flagship. So what, your what was I expecting? Right. That's what they did for Mario? 
The, literally, I mean, Mario 75 was cool. 35. <laughs> Mario 35 was cool. <clears throat> I, uh, Maybe we get a Zelda 35. Uh, where you go around dungeons. I'm trying to think of what else they did. Yeah. It's basically that, a pair of shoes, some pins. <laughs> hey, bare bones, least effort possible. Yeah. Remain, no, whatever. Remaster. Not even a remaster. No, no. Just release. We, we re- yeah, Not even a re release. I wouldn't even call it a re release. It's just a release. <laughs> of these three games, I mean, they did. Almost the bare minimum. About as little as you could do while still saying we're doing something to celebrate yeah. it. For but Mario. also, But also playing on our nostalgia and our emotions by having the nerve to put the name Mario All-Stars on well, it. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm not holding my breath in the slightest, not a pun, for anything Zelda-related certainly no more than what they did for Mario which was almost nothing <laughs> for Mario if they're rel- if they've already said look here comes Skyward Sword well there goes any hope of any kind of I don't think we're Zelda All-Stars Wind Waker and stuff yeah so then what are we doing that's it we're getting Skyward Sword I, I guess I don't know should I should I pay $60 for this game yes I should yeah okay it'll it'll yes you what should. do you think about the right stick controls? Somebody was saying I don't know what game uh, 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 that that's how you controlled Raiden Sword or Raiden Sword Sword sorry in uh, Metal Gear Rising was with the really? right stick which I forgot about. So I don't know. I mean, I played the game with motion controls. You had to. It was fine. But that's not how I want to play Zelda. Right. But it worked well enough. It I was able to you know, I played it. I don't know what to make of this right stick stuff. But if somehow it's just terrible and just unplayable, okay, I'll do the motion controls, mm-hmm. whatever. I don't want to, but um, I'm a little confused by the right stick stuff. But, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to be very upset if that is basically the extent of the 35th anniversary. Why do they keep releasing these games for sixty dollars? Also, yeah. like Mario yeah. 3D All Stars was sixty bucks, but at least that was three games. This is one ten year old game that nobody really seems to be that happy about. I don't, I, I just worry about the whole the, like you were saying on on Twitter and you said on here before the whole hub and spoke thing. You know, with there there's yeah. no there's no like high rule field. You you just what do you you jump on a bird and go to a level? Is that what it is? I'm trying to think of how you if you're in like. I don't even remember the names, but if you're in like grass area and you want to go to lava area, you do something. You probably have to get back to like a certain point where you can okay. beam, Ka-ka! beam Ka-ka! back up to like Skyloft. And then when you want to go down, you jump off <laughs> and you end up down there. And it's, I don't know, it's it's not like it ruins the game. It just okay. doesn't have the same feel. Um. The premise of Skyward Sword has always been so fascinating to me, being the first game in the timeline where everything goes, everything, no matter what timeline you're on, it all starts from it there. It does some Demise, stuff, all that stuff very like, yeah. well. There's a couple cool, and I'm just going by memory, like what I actually remember of the game, which honestly isn't much. There's some pretty cool levels. Hmm. A lot of the boss fights, even though it was all motion control to begin with, are kind of cool because of the sword fighting Isn't style. Isn't that where the big, like... The big uh, black... No, not that. There's like a, like a robot. It's almost like a like a gold, like, robotish thing. Oh. Yeah. Something. I've seen it, it that. Looks, the, he, that. That seems like that shows up on good boss lists. I don't know. But. I think that was the boss of the water, the, the equivalent of uh, the water temple, okay. which I don't think it's bad in this one. I don't even remember what it is, but I don't remember it poorly, so it can't be that bad. But I'm looking forward to it. There's the motion controls are one of the worst parts. So if they fix that, it's a pretty good Zelda game. I don't remember any terrible there's definitely your standard 
tutorial section in the beginning, but it's not nearly as bad as Twilight. You're in Skyloft for what I remember what feels like a while when you're like, can I just get to where I can fight? But Is it's it as not long as, as bad. hurting the goats. No, no, it's not as I bad. I love Twilight. I just didn't like all the goat stuff. It's not game. as bad as Twilight, but it does uh, what I remember. And I've only played there once. I played it start to finish. And if it tells you anything, I literally don't think I've even started a new game. Um, I think it kind of drags, but I don't remember it being like Twilight. But once you're off, you're off. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. It may be similar to something like Mario 64, where I'm like, I'm looking forward to playing through that again. And then once I do, I'm like, oh, God, this is... I don't think it'll be Mario 64, (laughs) because this is at least a... Even though it's the motion controls, this is at least a somewhat recent game. (laughs) Right. You know? I do wonder, like, I was texting you after after I was thinking about the whole the right stick stuff, is how do you do the camera? Like, is there going to be a button? It's like, is L2 or ZL, I guess it is, going to be shield, and then L is... <laughs> L, like, activates your sword attacks, but then how do you... I'm, I'm but, super interested to see how that's going to work. If I can't use my sword and, and move the camera simultaneously... Oh, maybe... Yeah, may, well... What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That It kind of worries me. I may end up just playing yeah, the I may have to the just motion control. the motion controls. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they've thought about something that I haven't, but it seems weird. Uh, James, sorry you feel that way, bud. We're just giving our honest opinions. I thought this direct was horrible, and yeah. So are we done with the direct? And then they announced okay. freaking if, if you got sorry, James, Splatoon three. Splatoon three is somehow worthy of closing out their first direct in a year and a half. Are you kidding me? So here's the thing. It just looks like more Splatoon, and I don't, I, I don't care about Splatoon. Yeah, I, I don't. Have. Splatoon is whatever. I don't even care. I would guess, without having actually done any math, certainly 50%, maybe 60%, 70% of the announcements at this thing were either like DLC addition to existing games. Re-releases. Re-releases. Oh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, Legend of Mana, Saga Frontier, Ninja Gaiden. So H- Splatoon Hades 3. Gets a- okay, if Splatoon's your thing, you're probably happy about that. Yeah. Mario Golf, okay. Yes. Some of the things you mentioned now are remakes, remasters, re-releases, whatever, that I didn't even realize were. The stupid Stubbs the Zombie game? I that thought was that was a, something that new. That was an Xbox 360 game, which is, uh, makes so it even weirder. Like, there's one more off the list. I thought that was at least something no. new, even though I didn't care about it. There's things that I assumed were new that aren't. I feel like 80%. 70% I think is probably pretty safe is either DLC or you know new characters or re-releases of old games. So Smash character, Fall Guys, Outer Wilds, Famicom Detective Club which has been out in Japan, Legend of Mana remake, Monster Hunter Rise new game, okay, Mario Rush new game, Capcom Arcade Stadium 30 old games. Yeah, that's a wash. Uh, Stubbs a Zombie, old game. No More Heroes, new game. DC Superhero Girls, Teen Power, I don't even... <laughs> new game, I guess. Plants vs. Zombies, old game. Metopia, I guess it's a new game. Animal Crossing, DLC. Uh, Triangle Strategy, new game. Star Wars Hunters, I guess it's a new game. Knockout City, new game. World's End Club, new game. Hades, old game. Ninja Gaiden, old game. DLC for Hyrule Warriors, Saga Frontier uh, Remaster, Skyward Sword, and then Splatoon 3. Okay, so I think that was 13 to 10. So 13 out of 23 was just old stuff, but here you go. Here's more yeah. of it. Like, And this is the first one in 18 months? I don't know. Not to mention, uh, I, I, I this is also, guys, Nintendo. please don't forget that this is also the 35th anniversary of Metroid. And again, no mention. <laughs> four years after it was announced, we don't hear even a peep about Metroid Prime 4. There's, I, I was reading, uh, I think it was on VGC, what they were hoping from this year. Not this direct, to be fair, but this year. And there has been reports or rumblings going around that Nintendo's actually working on maybe Metroid Prime 4 plus two 2D Metroid games. 
one somewhat related to fusion and I, then another one that might just the, a, a new game in like the fusion yeah. thing and then another remake of something old i don't know but i uh, will believe no, it when i see yeah. it they they hate metroid <laughs> they, they seem to four years four years and i know it they they canned it and they rebooted it but that was still two years ago and we still this is also metroid's 35th anniversary and i know that's not until august so they've got some time but like man and the thing they'll is they'll probably anything, give us federation forces two or something <laughs> any system that nintendo ever comes out with i'm going to buy mm-hmm. and it will basically be a, a zelda system but that's what I was gonna say. Like, is like I don't, I don't regret buying my Switch. But like, no, I got it for Breath of the Wild, and I got it for it's yeah, it's a first party machine. Yes. So I've gotten Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening, Odyssey, 3D All Stars, Smash, Mario Kart. The kids have Splatoon two on it. Never touched it. Mario Kart, the best Mario Kart ever made. Period. Um, best racing game ever made. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Um, I'm guessing you'll get 3D World. I don't know. No. I got it on Wii U. Well, I'm just I guess you already like, have it. Yeah. And Bowser's Fury looks fine. Um, I don't even know what else. Oh, I got the Ultra Street Fighter 2, Super Bomberman R. So I've got a few third-party games. But, I mean, it's like... But then I watch something like this, and I'm like, why? why I mean, it's it's a sunk cost at this point. I don't care. Like, I, I'm glad I got to play Breath of the Wild and Odyssey and Galaxy, finally. You know, but, like, man. I... Oh, I will say that. Let me say that. If somehow... <laughs> I will say that. I don't Let know. me say that. If I feel... If Skyward Sword makes me feel anything like Mario Galaxy did, I will be very happy. But I... That... You would be hard-pressed to find somebody that says Skyward Sword is a better game than Mario Galaxy. But I do think you will be <clears throat> pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Because I feel like it's almost at the level of like a sunshine in your mind like you probably only hear about the negatives yeah and there's a good amount of negatives about it but it's a good game i I, yeah i'll say it (laughs) i'll say it i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it i'll say i'll say i'll say skyward sword is better than majora's mask in my opinion in my opinion bro bro now here's the thing i think they've just completely screwed up majora's mask i hate what they did i don't like the three-day thing but did you i don't play like it that on there's the 3ds only, i forget i tried okay the stupid three-day cycle thing kicked my butt just trying to get through the forest temple i'm like i hate playing his stupid little plant link i'm like no, yeah. i don't i don't like this game it is ocarina of time just in a new world which is probably that what Breath of the Wild 2 is so good. Yeah. But they're like, oh, you liked your 10, 11 dungeons here's in the first four. one? Well, here's four. Yeah. Um, you can only play for about 20 minutes at a time and then whoop, undo everything. Not literally everything, but I'm being somewhat facetious. But like Majora's Mask should have been so good. I think it's... I loved it. It's so weird because I was scared to death of playing that game forever. And then when I finally yeah. did, I was like... And at first, I was like that. I was like, this game sucks. I hate this. I don't get it. And then at some point, it finally clicked. And I ended up loving it. But. I think Majora's Mask is probably my least favorite 3D Zelda game. Wow. Okay. And then I would say, uh, what do we? Wind Waker is probably the next one. But I admit, you've only played. I've the only played the original. I honestly, I, want I honestly liked it a good amount <sighs> until everything outside of the sailing, it. Even though it looks nothing like it, it controls and plays exactly like Ocarina. I cannot believe I cannot play Wind Waker on my Switch. Well, that, yeah. that, like you have an HD version of Twilight Princess already on the Wii U. You have an HD version of the Wind Waker on the Wii U. Port the freaking games. Just port them over. I'll buy Twilight Princess again. I might not even freaking play it here because <laughs> of the goat herding. But like I want to play Wind Waker because I crapped on it when it first came out all those years ago because I didn't get the cell shaded art style and all that. But like if that if this would have just been there's no actually no because then if it's like not only is ag anuma telling you no breath of wild 2 info but now we're going to re-release a game that we already (laughs) re-released for 60 but that would have gone over even worse than skyward sword i guess but i don't know overall i thought this direct was horrible Mm -hmm. um it didn't i i think the reason i think it was horrible this didn't need to be a direct like all this stuff like like stubs the zombie and stuff like that you could have just 
Mario Golf could have just gotten a Twitter, th- like they could have just dropped or done a story on IGN about Mario Golf coming back. And it would have just been blown up. It would have blown up and it would have been the focus. An awesome Mario Golf go- game coming. And then a week later, you announced Skyward Sword HD. By the way, we're also going to have more info on Breath of the Wild 2 later this year. Like, I just think this was not planned out correctly. And I think it's just, they make great games, but Nintendo has a disconnect when it comes to their PR stuff. I just don't, I, I just don't get them sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. We spent a lot of time on that. Uh, uh, I didn't put the article in here. <laughs> My name is Daddy Pug. Uh, uh, so, um, there are rumors going around. I will have to look up now. Ah, okay. There's rumors going around that Konami is doing something that is going to be a big deal for me, obviously. Um, this comes from Push Square. Earlier this week, it was reported that Konami is looking to outsource some of its iconic properties in order to produce future games. More specifically, it's believed that Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania are up for grabs. But who should be chosen to reinvigorate these classic franchises? Um, I don't. I don't, I don't even know. It's not the whole article, but it's so basically Konami. There are reports going around. Also, there's reports going around that they are licensing out Silent Hill. Also, Team Blooper did an interview where they hinted that they were working on a. Don't scary we hear game. this same story once every like six months or so? I feel like no, we, but you just hear me talk about Metal Gear all the time <laughs> and hope for remakes and stuff. And I me say like, I want them to license it out. This is the first time reports are going around that they're actually. But I mean, would you say this is that. more than just a rumor? It seems like it because everybody's <laughs> picking up on it. But again, uh, I'm just hoping for. I'm just. I can't get to. I hope it's true. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, who's going to make Metal Gear? It has to be Blue Point, right? Because it's not. I would say Kojima, but he's not going to make another yeah. Metal Gear game. No, he's done. So it's got to be Blue Point. I don't know who. I mean, for Castlevania, I would of course say um, from software. Just do Blood. That would be awesome. Um. But yeah, I don't know. And we'll see if Silent Hill... There's there's rumors going around that actually it seems like Konami might have licensed out Silent Hill to two developers. So they're, one of the games is going to be revealed this summer and then the other one further off. Um, if that ends up happening, then you better believe that my Metal Gear hopes are going to kick into to high gear. So I will have high, high hopes. Yeah. Last on the news, we got some new Xbox news this week. We'll run through this quickly, <laughs> quickly, 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 because we spent <laughs> we spent like forty minutes talking about the <laughs> what you call it. Um, uh, Xbox announced this week that they're adding their FPS boost mode. According uh, was announced that will boost backwards compatible games to sixty or one hundred twenty frames per second. Uh, there will be indicators that will tell the user if they're using auto HDR or the FPS boost. Uh, the first five games that will take advantage of this, and there's nothing you have to do. It's just they just keep coming up with this crap. Like the Xbox One couldn't do de- couldn't do backwards compatibility out of the box, and they're just like, okay, here's an update. Now you can play your old <laughs> games. It's crazy. Uh, Far Cry Four, Sniper Elite Four. Watch Dogs 2, UFC 4 will all run at 60 frames per second now on your on your Series X or S. And new Super Lucky's Tale will run at 120 frames per second. I want to see a side by side of 60 and 120 and see if that's what the 30 difference. 60. I completely get it. 60 and 120. I don't like my TV can only do 60. I don't care that I can't do 120. I don't even know. I I don't know what mine can do, but I assume. Even if I could see something that was truly 120 frames per second, I would be able to tell the difference from 60. Yeah. Uh, they also announced their uh, wireless headset to compete, I assume, to compete with the... Uh, what the hell is it? Pulse. Pulse headset that Sony has. Uh, it will support Dolby, Atmos, DTSX, and Windows Sonic audio formats as a dual beam farming microphone with voice isolation auto mute feature up to 15 hours of battery life and it will be out March 16th for 99.99 USD. Mm. So good for them. Cool. 
I love my Pulse headset. I freaking love that thing. Yeah. I just don't play any games right now, so I don't use it much. <laughs> Cyber Shadow broke me. All right. Time to get the wrap up. Sean, it was announced, and I'm so happy that Avengers is coming to PS5 and Xbox Series S and X on March 18th. <sighs> That was not me snoring. That was my knee hurting really bad. But also, <laughs> I'm snoring. bored. <laughs> no, that was my... I can't wait. <laughs> that was my, my torn knee just hurting that I made a Peppa Pig. I'm a, I'm a daddy pig. <laughs> uh, that's also the day that the Hawkeye DLC is coming out. I, just go away. Go away. <laughs> go away. Uh, Diablo 2, are you... Because this no. was rumored for a while, no? I don't know. The little I played of Diablo, and I think we talked about this a yeah. few episodes when ago. I, and also, it's I like, got Diablo 3 and played it for a little bit. Move your mouse, click on an enemy, and your Hold guy it. runs yeah. up, and then goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then you click over there, and you just click and tell them where to run, and then, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Yeah. Not for me. Uh, Chun Li and Ryu are coming to Fortnite. Were you. A, I was wondering, are you going to... No. Yeah. God, no. <laughs> I saw somebody, I think it was freaking Kotaku or something. Ryan was like a <laughs> mini gun or whatever. <laughs> like, he can shoot fireballs. <laughs> Why does he have a mini gun? Uh, uh, a class action lawsuit was filed against Sony for DualSense Drift, because Drift is just a thing now. Have you had any issues with your... I haven't had any. No. There was some report I read that um, studies have shown that the DualSense analog sticks have about 417 hours of shelf life, and then they die. And I'm like, well, damn, my kids need to get off Minecraft then or something and <laughs> go play yeah. on the PS4 or something. Um, but I, don't, I haven't... The only issues I've noticed are that the back gets dirty from just your hand grime and grit and grind. <laughs> Like on the all the little Sony, like yeah, 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 like you just get dirt there. And Chris or Colin, one of them mentioned it um, that they were noticing that same thing too. Metro Exodus is getting a what I'm calling a current gen upgrade <laughs> this year with 4K 60 frames per second and ray tracing. The Intellivision Amico has been delayed to the fall, and there's no more news on Earthworm Jim Four. They it's an Intellivision. The controllers are Intellivision controllers. How the hell are you going to play Earthworm Jim on that thing? Oh, no idea. Please port it to everything else. Uh, it takes two from Joseph Ferris, who said F the Oscars has gone gold ahead of its release in March. Overcooked All You Can Eat Edition is out March 23rd on Switch, PS4, Xbone, and PC. E official, EA has officially acquired Codemasters and says that the developer will remain an independent group making its own games. Rainbow Six Quarantine has not been renamed to Parasite. It's just the new internal name for it. Obviously, they could not call this thing quarantine anymore after what we've all been through in the past year, but it apparently will not be called Parasite. And GDC 2021 is officially happening digitally again this year. Sean. That was episode 221. Um, Thank you all so much for being here. Um, Let us know in the comments what you think about Nintendo and their direct and... God, we got to get more for Zelda. Zelda's too important. It's just too important. Um, but yeah, as you know, you can find us at nerd901.com where they're connecting nerds across the Mid-South and the multiverse. Check out Ernie, Ernie the Blur Without Fear. Check out everything else going over there. Um, you can check us out on Twitter. I'm at KevinWhite24. He's at RealSeanWhite. Together we're at two-player underscore co-op. Uh, Facebook, audio services, YouTube. Like, Shout out to Mike share. somebody. Mike Rowe. No, that's the Dirty Jobs guy. Yeah. Mike. Mike, whoever you are, if you're watching, thanks for the like on Facebook. I forget your name. But. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Jess was having some ideas about what we can do with Facebook. <laughs> We've talked about this several times. We have. And we just <coughs> never end up we doing never it. Do it. But well, yeah. Maybe I'll do it. No, I need to hire a social media manager for $0 <laughs> salary a year. <laughs> James, let us know if you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> hey, babe. Good luck paying for that TV on your $0 a year salary plus benefits. Plus benefits, babe. babe. That's it. We'll be back next week. Sean, go ahead and take us out. Thank you for playing. <laughs>